Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another season of Sneaker Battles. I am your host, Tony Mui, and this time, we pulled out all the stuff. New sets, new cameras, and new battlers. In one corner, he's a PE collector and a founding member of the UB Army. Chicago's very own Unbreakable Kicks is here to battle. And in the other corner, he is 1.4 million subscribers strong. If there's a mystery, he's got a box for it. The mystery box king Harrison Neville is here to battle. And of course, back like heel drag, director of the best sneaker show in the world, sneaker shopping's very own Jose is here. He will be providing secondary market prices to give the viewers some insight on how these sneakers either are appreciated or depreciated over time. Unbreakable Kicks, now that you know who you're battling, what's your strategy going up against Harrison? Man, my strategy going up against Harrison is just make sure I'm pulling out one of the dopest sneakers. I know Harrison has a collection like none other, so I feel like we're going to have a good matchup today. Okay. All right, Harrison, you know Unbreakable Kicks is a heavy PE collector. How do you think your selection stacks up against his? I got my work cut out for me in this because he's got some of the craziest shoes that I wish that I had, so he's going to be this is going to be tough. I just some look at his background. You see a little bit of that. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, the rules are simple. This is a five round bout. Each round will tackle a different category. Both battlers will show off the shoes at the same time from the count of three. And with that said, let us begin. All right, gentlemen, round one. Show off your best unreleased sneaker in three, two, one. Show. We'll start it off with Unbreakable Kicks. What are you working with? I'm working with the Air Jordan 4 Oregon Duck Man. The Duck Man himself. Spring 2012 PE release for Oregon. The, the Air Jordan 4, the, even just the Air Jordan Oregons in general are just some of the dopest PEs. But when it comes to the Duck Man 4, one of the rarest of the PEs for Oregon. So had to go with these. I have the Cactus Plant Flea Market Nike Dunk Low. This is the Friends and Family Edition in the green colorway. They came out with the Platinum colorway. This is the Friends and Family. Covered on the shoe are Swarovski crystals, so this thing shines like crazy. This is one of my favorite shoes. It's just insane how crazy it is, and I keep it on a nice little rotating like table at all times when it's in my studio. Is it a lock, smiley face? It's like a keychain with some crystals on it. You got a nice keychain, but I don't know if it topples <laughs> off a thousand dollar Oregon hang tag though. Talk you know, that talk, unbreakable. Oh no, nah. look, hang tag versus keychain. Let's get it. All right, Jose, what are we working with? Okay, Unbreakable, I'll start with you on those. Those Duckman 4s are definitely hard to find. I did find one pair similar to for around 6K on the eBay market. My guess is that the pair you have is going for a lot more. Probably price those around $15,000. And Harrison, those Cactus Plant Flea Market, the Sage colorways are going for around $10,500 on the eBay market. Okay, so before we proceed, I wanna get Jose's thoughts. If you were to pick who won this round, who are you going with? I'm personally gonna go with the fours. And not for nothing, I don't think I could walk around with diamonds on my feet. I feel like they would blast <laughs> off everywhere if I scrape my toe getting out the car or walking dirty New York streets. I just don't think it's my style. So something like a four I could relate more to, but that pair I probably wouldn't wear either just because it's so rare. Harrison, have you had any experience with diamonds popping out? I have not, surprisingly, and I've worn these, and I thought that half of them would fall off, but they did a good job of gluing them on, I guess. But you could see how that could happen in the future. Oh, 100%. Yes, I'm worried about it every time I put them on. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, gentlemen, let's move on to round two. Round two, show off your best clickbait sneaker in three, two, one, show. I like this wow. one. All right, Harrison, start us off. I got the Ben & Jerry Chunky Dunky sneaker right here with the friends and family box, the nice little ice cream tin. This is a sneaker that 
I actually got pretty early and I was able to make a lot of content around them. And I think this is one of those shoes that blasted sneakers into more of the mainstream where you had people's moms, their cousins, trying to get the Ben and Jerry Chunky Dunkies just because of how insane of a shoe they are. So this is one that I use a lot for content. And uh, I don't know, just look how crazy it pops. You just see that on camera. It's an easy one to make a video out of. Okay, Unbreakable Kicks. Talk to us, what are you working with? Do I want to talk about this one? But <laughs> you got the Air Jordan 1 trophy room freeze out with the friends and family laces. Um, yeah, when it comes to YouTube and sneakers and just doing content, this sneaker right here has caused a lot of just talk for the year of 2021. Honestly, I feel like this sneaker is going to have talks and be in people's mouths for the entire year. The, the freeze out of, you know, Jordan and the 1985 All-Star Game, the Chicago OG look, born and raised in Chicago, any, any just Jordan one with a Chicago base, Chicago color blocking is gonna do phenomenal things. And of course, you know, you got it. If you're gonna rock these, you gotta have the friends and family laces because it just gives it that stamp. The, the, the stamp, you got the stamp when you got the friends and family laces right there. So, so what you're saying cool. is they're authenticated similar to these eBay unions that I got right here. That's what you're trying to tell me. They're certified. Certified, no worries at all. Okay, we, we had to make sure that it's almost like uh, whenever you see somebody with a trophy room one now, you got to ask them about the blue laces, right? You got to ask them. Just know, like, I'm just glad that I know certain people. Jose, talk to us. What are we working with in the secondary market? All right, Harrison, those friends and family Ben and Jerry's are super tough to find. I know they were given to the Nike SB skate team. I think it set the world on fire when they came out during the pandemic. They're going for around 2400 on eBay market. And then Unbreakable. I'm not sure which backdoor you got these from, but hard, hard pair to find. The trophy room friends and families, everybody knows the debacle over these and not many people got them. That pair is going for around 4,900 on eBay. I'm definitely not paying that price, but I do love the Chicago one and how those look. Both these pairs were hard to find. Harrison, I don't know how you got those. Tony, I'm gonna go with the ones that I don't have, which are the trophy rooms. Let's move on to round three, shall we? Round three, show off your best team early sneaker in three, two, one, show. Unbreakable kicks. Let us know what you're working with. I have to go with the Air Jordan 4 sales, the off-white. Did review these early on my YouTube channel. And just the clean colorway of the sale on the Air Jordan 4 off-white. It's just fire. I like the simplicity of the shoe. Normally with off-whites, we get all the different colors and all the pizzazz with it, but this was just clean, straight to it, and it was the first one, especially that clear back tab as well. These joints were just fire. Okay, so how early did you get that sneaker? I wanna say maybe a week or two early, maybe about a week or two early. I got the Jordan 4 Unions right here. This is one that I had a few weeks early. I did a couple of videos with, and this is one that I hated on from the photos. This is a shoe that I, did not like the way that they looked on the photos that came out. I got these in hand for a video and I fell in love. I don't know what it was. I put them straight on feet. I had to cut the tongue. I cut the tongue on them like three, two, three weeks before they even came out. And I think that elevated the shoe so much. It's nothing crazy, but it is one that I had a couple weeks early that I did not like. I admit, I did not like at all. I got them in hand. It changed my mind. I wear these so much and they, I don't know. They're just so easy to wear in my opinion. Unbreakable, I gotta ask, were you one of those people that were hating the, when the, the photos leaked? Uh, you know what? In the Unbreakable Army can attest to this. I feel like I hate on a lot of the sneakers when it comes to we first seeing the pictures. I'm like, I'm, I'm cool on them, I'm cool on them. But but my Unbreakable Army always got a joke. Soon as Bray gets the shoe in hand, oh, these are vote approved, oh, I need them, I need them. So those are definitely a, a sneaker that I'm just like, I can't stand them. Soon as I got them in hand, I'm like, I need two of them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna swing it over to Jose. Talk to us. All right, Unbreakable, I'll start with you. Those sale off-white fours are going for around 1,400 on the eBay market. And then Harrison, those Union Guava fours. These are going for around 900 on average. I know that because I just got a pair about a week ago. When we were shooting an episode down in Tampa with Rod Wave, go check that out right now. I'll show you the picture right here. I love those Union fours. Um, personally, I think I'm gonna go with Harrison on this one. 
So that's all we got, boys. Very nice. Round four, show off your best rare pair in three, two, one, show! Ay, ay, ay! I knew he was going for that. I can't keep up with what he's got on screen though. Those are insane. I knew he was going for those. We got the Nike SD Dunk, what the dunks. This is a pair that I've been going after for so long, and I finally was able to acquire them somewhat recently, and a pair that is like insanely clean. I don't know, this is the dunk of all dunks. The wave has come back recently, but this one just tops all for me, just the overall look, the history behind it. Everything about these, this is like one of the ultimate grails that I've been searching for for a long time. This right here is the Air Jordan 3 Kobe. This, this sneaker right here means so much to me. I don't want to go on a, on a long, sappy story, but I told myself once I completed this pack right here, the Kobe 3s, got the Kobe 8s over there as well, I was going to retire from collecting sneakers because this right here was my grail of all grails. I got this in 2019. Um, I get speechless just thinking about it because this is one of those shoes that I, I never thought that I would own because of the price, because of just how limited these were. We know that these were given to, Kobe was given the black pair. The black pair is, is like stupid limited, but I'm on the verge for those as well. But I just played these on a TV show that I was on. I just absolutely love this shoe right here. I wore these for my 30th birthday. I just turned 30 in January. And this was the shoe that I had to undies on my birthday. And this right here is just a grill of all grills. RIP Kobe. And um, just a fantastic retro three. Harrison, I'll start with you on these. The What the Dunks are a beautiful design. I think taking all the pairs from the early 2000s from the SB collections and mashing them together in a sneaker is still a very unique thing to me. And it was well executed. Um, definitely a beautiful pair to have. And those are going for 10K in the eBay resale market. And then the Kobe 3s, you know the sneaker was sold in a pack, so one person just selling off a 3 or selling off the 8 is super rare. I'm not seeing them here, but from what I know in the past and what people have paid for those, that sneaker is going for around 15,000 on average. If I had to choose, this is a tough one. Um, I think for the sake of the game and it being what it is, I'm giving this one to Harrison right now because, because, I think the what the dunk is more of a wearable shoe in my opinion. I would rather put those on my feet than to undes a Kobe 3 and you know take that out of the collection. So right now I'm just gonna go with what I would put on feet and it's with those what the dunks are. So you would say the Kobe 3s are more of a mantelpiece? That's a mantelpiece. That's a piece of art in my opinion. Um, that pack just in general. I'm kind of, I'm more of a fan of the 8s if I'm gonna be honest. I think those are a lot more appealing just to me. And this is my choice, I don't hoop. But um, if I'm putting anything on feet, like I said, it's those what the dunks. This is it, the final round, round five. Battler's choice, whatever heat you want to use against your opponent, now's the time to do so. In three, two, one, show. Damn, dog. So this is an odd one. This is one that I don't think most people would expect me to pull up. This is a Twix Jordan 1 that was made in collaboration with Twix and the Shoe Surgeon that I was sent that has a tearaway material that reveals cookies and cream underneath the sneaker. So I have this massive box that it comes in. On the underside, it says left Twix and right Twix. It's a very odd sneaker, but it is one that I've always had that I I've, I've got for this collaboration. And I, it's always stayed as a crazy piece to have in my collection. So I just thought I'd share this one. I'm gonna go with the Air Jordan 14, the God Plans. Well, you, as you, if I, if I move this way, wait, which way? If I move this way, you can see I'm pretty much OVO'd out, right? OVO'd out. You, I seen Casita do the, the Kentuckys. I seen the Calipari's. I have seen the, the Charles Oakley's. Most people don't know what these are, but you know, we, we, got, we got some stuff back there. I, I see your face, Tony. You know, the Drake Little Wayne's, um, but you don't see a lot of people with the OVO 14s. And a lot of people rock with 14s when it comes to OG colorways, but, but 
this year was just special. One, it got my fraternity colors in it. You got the OVO stitch right there on the back. You got the OVO in the inside on the, the, the insole. Just a fire, fire. You got the owl. Most OVOs, go ahead and show the owl. Most OVOs got hidden messages under the insoles and things like that. Drake is one of my favorite artists. And this is just a fire retro 14 that you don't see a lot of people with. The shoe that I'm bringing out is one that, I don't know, I wanted to bring it out for the category. It's an OG, the Yeezy 350 Turtle Dove. If you were around in the era of when these came out, you know how hard it was to get them with Kanye, the waves he was making. And I don't know, this is one that I, I waited so long to get. I got scammed for a pair back in the day and I finally have a legitimate pair and I, it's, it holds a special place in my heart in that era of sneakers. And so I just felt I need to find somewhere to show it. All right, Unbreakable, I'll start with you. Those OVO 14s, this one I'm seeing online for around $10,000 on the eBay aftermarket. I think because it's such a rare pair, I would kind of throw that in the seller's choice bin because not many people are gonna get rid of those. So I'd have to ask you what you would sell those for before giving a legit price on it. What is it? Um, it's, I, I can't part ways with any of my OVOs. I, I just can't. So all my OVOs are priceless because I feel like once I sell them, the odds of getting them again is every PE that I have behind me is my personal size. So I refuse to sell any of them. So it's that's, priceless in my opinion. That's that's the answer we need to hear is it's priceless. I think that's one shoe that again is just you can dig with the shovel and you'll never find it. Um, and then the Twix shoe surgeon Jordan One. Harrison, I'm seeing a pair online for about 5,200 for those. I would imagine they're more because, you know, one-on-ones or customs, when we get into that lane again, I think it's just seller's choice and it's up to somebody like you. So I don't know what you would sell those for, but again, I'd be interested to hear your opinion on that. I probably just wouldn't sell them in general because it was kind of like just a staple of like, it was a launch for the cookies and cream Twix that were coming out. And so working with Twix in that, I can't get rid of them. It's, and it's like, I'm never gonna come buy them again. It's not like something that everybody's going and looking for, but just the fact that I was able to work with the launch of like a Twix bar, candy bar is insane. All right. And I think that's what the people out there need to hear is that some of these sneakers are priceless. They're hard to come across. They are grails for collectors like both of you guys. So shout out to you both for bringing those out and showing those to us. After you've seen all five shoes from both contestants, who are you picking as the winner for this episode? I'm gonna have to go with Unbreakable on that last round and for the whole bout, um, I think those OVO 14s are super special, especially having been to Kentucky, having been to Joe's shop and Oneness and seeing Calipari in person talk about these sneakers. There's so many rare pairs out there and knowing Drake's ties to that affiliation and that school and that university, it's just, it's a really tough one to get. So I'm going with the 14s on this one. Well, there you guys have it. This concludes another episode of Sneaker Battles. Congratulations to Unbreakable Kicks for winning this battle. Now, before we get out of here, I'm actually gonna swing it back over to these guys. Unbreakable Kicks, let the people know what you have going on and where they can follow you. What up, what up, what up? Your boy Unbreakable Kicks. You guys can find me on YouTube at Unbreakable Kicks, one word, and you guys can find me on Instagram at Unbreakable Kicks as well. Okay, Harrison, where can the people find some of your work? Just look me up, YouTube, Instagram, Harrison Neville. That's all it is. Congrats, Unbreakable. You have some of the craziest shoes, and I knew that this was gonna be insanely tough, so we'll see what the people think, but I think that you even outclassed me on a lot of these, so good job. You got some, I wish I had half of those shoes behind you. Yes. Man, I appreciate you. Oh, you are, you're a staple in the sneaker community, bro. I appreciate you. And before we get out of here, Jose, any final words? All rounds, all the kicks were amazing in my eyes and you know, I think rare for everybody to see. So I'm interested to see what the people say on this too, but you got my vote guys. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Harrison, I thought you were gonna pull out the air mags, bro. That's what I should have pulled out, but I got rid of them, I sold them. Damn. <laughs>